Okay, I'm just gonna straight up say that I don't know what the hell is up with this game. But I looked at it, and I was really intrigued. So I wanted to check it out. So. This. Is Wrong World. It's. Weird. And it might be good weird. I have no idea. Hello there. My name's Jamie, and I'm the dev responsible for this silly little game. First things first, thank you so very, very much from the bottom of my heart for supporting Wrong, Wrong World in its current early state. So it's early access, probably. I really do want the feedback from yourself and the rest of the community to help shape the future of this game. I'm only one man, so there's only so much playtesting I can do before my brain melts. And I'm probably too close to this project now to remain objective, so I'm hoping we can all work together to figure out what's fun, what isn't, what should be added, trimmed, or cut, etc. That's a good mindset. I like the mindset of this dev. With that in mind, after you've had that play around, please do jump on the Steam forums, Twitter, or wrongfeld.com and let me know what you'd like to see added or improved. I already have masses of things I'd like to add, and I can't wait to hear what you guys come up with. Anyways, enough jibber-jabber. I will... Whoops. I, will, I shall shut up now and go away. Good luck on your adventures, have fun, and try not to get nibbled to death by those pesky slug beasts. Okay, I do like the cut of the jib of the developer. Let's, let's see where this goes. I have no idea what this is about. Besides the fact that it has some really weird characters. Let me look at this thing. It's Chibi Chewbacca Googly Eye. <laughs> Alright, new game. Alright, game mode. Normal mode. Alright. Permadeath, XP, and slow health regeneration. Easy mode, permadeath off, XP off. Health regeneration enabled. Creative, health hunger, permadeath disabled. XP and achievements disabled. Hard, tougher BCs, more frequent events. Okay. Okay, this is intriguing. Let's see where this goes. Eternal Darkness. Ah, cool. I've been playing that, huh? Yeah, Ivy, you said this instantly looks cheap. I would say this instantly looks weird. Not necessarily cheap. Generating new words can take a while, so please do not smash your computer out of frustration while you wait. Thankfully, reloading really existing save is much faster. Okay, cool. The story so far. Okay. Oop. Log drought rower. Dra okay. Sure. So we're the weird Chewbacca thing. What do we can? We can. We can do that. Cool. So I have a means of attack. Hold interact to chop trees, smash rocks, and I'm gonna pick up items. <laughs> I see. Well, I mean, when you don't have an axe, you gotta use your head. So I just hold interact to pick things. I got a flapple, an acorn and wood. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, it could look. It's like you basically are mean. Like you're not. You mean the affectionate form of cheap. Like the the sort of cheap. Like you gotta. You gotta. It's got some cheap popcorn. It's it's good popcorn, but it's cheap popcorn. You know. So eat open inventory. Cute. You crafted me. Okay. So I got wood, a flapple. It has wings on it for some reason, that's why it's a flapple. Use a shovel to impregnate the ground. Cool. I like impregnating the ground. Useful for murdering trees. Useful for murdering rocks. Required for burying things. Fish herding device. Okay, cool. So I guess I need more wood then. Build structures to unlock new crafting recipes. Structures. Oh, hold on. Ah, cooked meat. Potato fries. Mushroom soup. Smells like feet. Fish fingers. It's okay to eat fish because they don't have any fillings. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wooden staff. Trusty stick of doom. Hits multiple targets at once because it's awesome. So I guess that's that's a weapon, yeah. Build an anvil to unlock more gear. Okay, so it's got a Minecrafty sort of thing going on here, yeah. <laughs> Do you like that word, you Selena? I thought you might like that word, you Selena. Utterly pointless bit of wood. Tall flap of goodness for the navigationally challenged. Oh, I guess to find my way. Solving a beast by poking from below. Alright. I see. I see. Okay, so 
I guess for the time being, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna whack more trees. Oh, I guess it's nighttime now. I wonder if that's gonna be a bad thing for me. So how do I get rocks? Oh, same way as I get wood, obviously. So obviously, I guess objective one would be get enough wood to craft tools. What did I? Coal, stone, iron ore. Okay, cool. This game has some charm to it, I'll definitely say that. Picking up items. Oh. I'm guessing I should be wary of things that exist that aren't me. <laughs> things that could be evil. But I also probably need to kill some things for meat, so. Yeah, the developer definitely put some effort into the flavor text, and I appreciate that. Oh god, a seed. What's the def- Shovel, ground, seed, baby vegetable. <laughs> Fair enough. Actually, I have enough for an axe. I should just build that. So obviously, I have a hunger meter and I have a health meter. Probably need to concern myself with the hunger meter at some near, near, nearby soon point. <laughs> Let's see. Let's build some, uh... Put an axe. Got enough for one other tool. I guess pickaxe. That is really silly craft. Alright, so I have a... I see I have a bar down there, so... Axe. Pickaxe. Alright. I don't have to use my head anymore. Uh, sadly, wait, I've already triggered brain trauma at this point. This game has definitely got a thing going for it. I mean, yes, it is a Minecraft-type game, so... Maybe that'll turn some people off right off the bat because it's a saturated market, but... This game definitely has a bit of its own flair going on here, and I, I am, I'm intrigued by this. I like weird games. Actually, you know what? It's kind of giving me a 90s vibe, if anything. It's reminding me of some weird games from the 90s, like that one Claymation Adventure game that just had a weird atmosphere I could never put a, my finger down on. Come back here. I, it's really hard to explain that game. It's, it's just... It was a good game. I really liked it, but... Also, I don't know if tools have a durability. I can't really tell. Oh god! I didn't even see that. Shit. He's made of wood, I have an axe. This seems fine. Okay, basic zombie type. Yeah, he, he was made of wood, in fact. I'm guessing that was probably... Let hold, Press left shift to lock on nearby enemies. Hold down or press escape to cancel. Alright. Hi. How's it going? Well, all right then, cool. <laughs> He's just a friendly rock man. He's just like, hey, dude, how you doing? Like, ah, uh, fine. How are you? So I guess this is my attack weapon for now. I see. Well, hunger is still going down, but let me uh, let me get a few more resources together, and then we'll uh. Seek something to eat. If his name is Malcolm, we must feed him gravel. Why does that sound familiar? So I see there's biomes as well. Like there's a desert over there, there's some mountains over there, and there's a snowy place way over there. So that's kind of cool. Alright, so I guess what I should probably do is just, yeah. I'm just going I'm trying to just gather up a ton of wood so I don't need to gather it for a while. I need to make a shovel. Well, if I want to plant stuff, which I don't... Actually, I don't really need to plant anything right now, so... 18 wood, that's a good start. Okay, what do I need to build? I need a workbench, toy wood, 
So I guess I should kind of have a house. Yeah, there's an actual house I can make, so. Modular house tile. Enable construction when interactive with the add walls and stuff. Okay. Sounds useful. So I need a ton of wood for that, but let's worry about let's let's worry about hunger. So those those wood monsters are not gonna be very useful for food, because they're just wood. However, I'm getting flapples now and then, so I could probably eat those. Can I cook them to make like roast flapple though, I wonder? I might want to hold on to them and try that. I'm not very good at combat, but it's okay, neither is the enemy. <laughs> oh, they also give me flapples. Press jump while attacking to do a combat roll. Look at that. Oh, what? Night's very sudden, isn't it? Alright, I guess, I mean, I guess I'll go to uh, the, the desert over there. That seems like a terrible place to get food, actually, but I don't know. I don't have any better ideas right now, so. I mean, these just seem to be wood people, so... Actually, you know what? No, I'll head over here to the mountains. After I kill this guy, because he's probably going to attack me otherwise. This one's bigger than the other ones. Hmm. Die. I got a Cab Kaluna? What does that do? A painful looking red flower. Then why did I pick it? I, was, I wonder if staff will probably kill them faster. Alright, I'm gonna go down to the I'm gonna go down to this mountain. I wonder if there's fall damage. Maybe. Avoid face playing the game by trap capping jump just before impact. Oh. Oh nope. Let's not use that. Let's use that. Need some rocks too. Om nom all the th I mean eating is good. I'll just eat the flapples if I get really low. It's it's all good. So I think I saw the Statue of Liberty, by the way. <laughs> so I'll be checking that out too. Also, it seems like wood's a very valuable resource, so I'll probably need a whole bunch of it. Did I start the timer? Okay, good work, me. I did actually start the timer this time. I was actually very concerned for a moment. Hey, look, it's some thing. I... Hey, it's not very nice. What am I fighting and how many hits does it take? Too many, apparently. I just I don't know what I got because the achievement blocked it, but I think it was a I think it was a rock monster. Okay, getting food is a little difficult if all I'm fighting are rock and wood monsters. <laughs> Admittedly. Wait, what's that sound? Hold on, I'll find out in a minute. Oh, there's a thing trapped in a cage. Oh, there's a dinosaur. Hold on. Maybe he'll provide me meat. Hey, come here. Where'd he go? Like, where did it go? Did it drown? I mean, I wanted, to, I wanted to search its body if it died, so, you know. Well, okay, whatever. I guess the clucking dinosaur is gone now. <laughs> not sure what happened to it. Oh, I don't want to mess with another rock guy. Actually, wait, that's not the same rock guy. That's a different rock guy. Okay.
But it is, again, just a rock guy, so... Okay. What we got here? Caution! Run away from hamster! Why? All right then. But you're right. I am pretty hungry. Let me eat let me eat some of these apples. That works out. Your hunger is above ninety. You will regain health. Good to know. All right. I see another dinosaur. I'm gonna try to get this one. Got a fair number of resources. It's like a puppy. A puppy hamster. A pamster? <laughs> a hoppy? <laughs> Alright, dinosaur, this time I'm gonna kill you. Okay, there! See, I knew it! I knew there'd be some... Oh, it's an alien, my bad. what I get? Meat! A slab of non-vegetable. Yum. It's an alien. I thought it was, I totally thought it was a dinosaur. So I'm guessing we should build a place where we set up things. Where should I set up though? There's a ton of stuff over here, so maybe I could like put it up. Yeah, let me set up on this beach here. That'd be easy to notice. That was a what the hell is okay, hold on. What the hell is going on here? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. What do you do? About what I thought you'd do. Okay. <laughs> this is a... It's a snake with legs, basically. It also looks like it got its spine broken in about four different places at some point. Given that it sounds like a doofus, I wouldn't be surprised if it just fell down there several times. Alright then. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm out of... Oh, sand. I got some sand. Can be built into... Okay, I'm out of research. I'm out of room, so I should definitely build here. All right, this will be my base of operations, nice and visible from everywhere. So wherever I travel, I should remember how to get back. But uh, before I build, I need to, I need to, I need this area to be clear of enemies. The attack system is sort of clunky in a way that makes sense, if that makes any sense. It's like clunky, but in a way that, like, it works. Also, I'm getting Mysterious Goop. What's that do? There's still a blob of slime. Minus 30 food, but 10 health. That's interesting. Alright, so yeah, I'm just gonna build over on this... I'm just gonna build on this hill here, so... Let's, 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 let's build some stuff. Uh, let's start with a little workbench. Oh, that's not good. Alright, ow. What well, rude. Okay, I don't really like the enemy spying your face mechanic, but whatever. Try it again. Gra granted, I am trying to build during night, which maybe is not the smartest thing or something. I guess I'll just watch my back. I mean, that seems fine, yeah. Maybe I should have started with the house, technically, but whatever. Not enough resources. Wait, what? Oh. 
Oh, I can always move them with C, apparently. Oh, yeah, it's construction mode, I see. That's cool. Let's leave that there for now. I need more trees. So I'm gonna go... <laughs> yeah, all that wood I collected and I ran out. So I, I'm gonna... I need to build a house tile, which is probably a good idea. I need, uh, more wood. And this is fine, because I probably can get more apples if I break humor trees, so... There it is. <laughs> it's like, where'd that wood go? It's somewhere right here. Desert isn't a place for trees. I mean, yeah, I guess so. Oops. Using the wrong button. Oh shit! I guess it makes sense that a wood monster might be in a tree. Swimming lesson. I'm gonna throw away the sand. I could rather hold more apples. There we go. So I guess if an enemy jumps in the water, it instantly kills them, but you lose their resources. Alright, that's fine. This is acceptable. How is there a red pine tree? <laughs> I don't know, Pa. It's almost like this is a video game and they can make anything look like however they want. <laughs> Oh, okay. Um... Huh. Move that for a second. Perfect. Good spot for it. All right. Uh, edit. Walls, um... Is there a way to make, like, a door, or...? Oh. <laughs> I, I, okay. Okay, I kind of, I kind of actually kind of like this building format. It's silly, but I like it. Alright, so, um, I'm gonna do, like, okay, I see. All right. So how do you make a door then? I can also change. You can change the color of things. I don't think I'll bother, but at least not right now. But so I'm guessing you can you can have a roof as well. Currently don't have a roof, but um... <laughs> all right, all right. This is cool. Yeah, windows is good. Um. Well, I guess I need more wood and stone to build more tiles. Listen, I can... Yep, yeah, I can totally... Kind of put this in here, I guess. Uh, let's see. And it has no problem with me just putting it in the wall, so I don't want to do that, though, obviously. I wanted to... It to be against the wall, but not in it. There we go. It's a start! It's a start, and now I can remember where I am, so hey. I, I am, I'm amused by this. I, I really do like this building mechanic. So I'm guessing I can add more pieces to it, too, so. Uh, well. I mean, might as well go after the rock monsters, because they do give me, well, rocks. But I need wood, too. Ooh, there's lightning. So, uh, I guess my- I guess what I'll do is I'll leave this house here, I'm gonna cross the river, and then I'll just start breaking trees and stuff over there. Wood monsters do give me wood, so if I see them, I can also fight them for the wood. Though I will say it's less effort to kill a tree. For it. Oh, you know what I should do, actually? Though this isn't the best place to look, I guess, but- Oh god, what? Oh my! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 
<laughs> oh no! It's a it's it's a four eyes octopus. It's a four eyed octopus. Okay. Oh, and I immediately. Oh, but I bet bet I have to be careful in water. I did not consider this. Um. Oh, door. Five woods. Okay. Five woods. I'm good at English. Oh, yeah, no. Oh. Now it's safe. <laughs> Though I should probably put my construction hat on and, uh... I mean, it looks a little weird at the top, but I guess it works. Can I can I make it? Can I make it fit? I wonder. I guess no. But hey, I have a safe domicile now. Yeah, let's look. Let's look here. Storage, storage, storage. Chest. Twenty wood, one copper bar, and a workbench. Wow, that's actually some requirements now. Um, can I just? Yeah, I guess. Okay, copper bar. How do you how do you do that? I'm gonna guess I need a smelter. I need more stone. I probably need a smelter to make the copper bar. I do have some copper here, so that should be fine. How many copper bars do I need? Just one. Yeah, just one. Okay. So I need to go get some more rocks. Conveniently, there's rocks. Conveniently, this is probably enough. I also am going to be in need of food soon. I do have a grapple here. That'll help a little bit. Uh, it'd be nice to build a fire and cook the meat, but... Okay. This is going to be a very cramped home for a while. But you can always move things, which I appreciate. I'll just move things later. Uh, alright, so... Can I just... There we go. It's kind of slightly in the wall, but as long as it's not sticking out, I don't really care. It also burns! Okay, cool. So, can I craft the... chest now? Not enough resources. 20 wood, one copper. Oh, I need wood. Okay, so we can't cross the ocean like I thought we might be able to. But that's fine. So the thing in the water, it was an octopus with glasses, as far as I could tell. Oh, it's nighttime again already. Day doesn't last very. Oh, night. Oh, that's not good. Whoop. Have to be a bit, uh, a bit on the ball when it comes to killing enemy, uh, destroying things, because you might. Oh, there we go. Also, I'm okay that enemy killed itself by jumping in the water. That saves me some time. It's a big tree, so hopefully it'll give me a lot of wood. But it probably will give me an enemy as well. So. Yep, called it. Octopus have a round head. I thought it was an octopus. I really thought it was. Hmm. Okay, it seems harmless. Oh. I was wondering if tools could break. I guess that answers that. Um, all right then. Guess I have to waste some of that wood to make a new one. Oh, 
Or maybe the first one button I had it on. Nice. I like this game. I like this game, but it is it does seem like it takes quite a few resources to make stuff, so. I'm kind of on a race against my hunger bar right now. I just need a bunch of wood. Can I eat, actually, can I eat the acorns, or are they not edible? So that means I'll do eat acorns. But not this one. Hmm. Galbera, blue flower of the shape of a shield. Eat it if you want, but it might be poisonous. Yeah, cooking it is probably wiser. Okay. If I can help, but I won't eat a raw mushroom, but if I need to, I will do that. Now, how much wood do I need for the... What was I making? I was making, uh... I need a, actually, you know what? As much as I need a chest, I kind of need a campfire first, so... Five wood, five stone. Upgrade a campfire with that. Oh, okay, okay. It's only five wood and five stone. I was actually being a bit of an idiot then. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my house. I have enough stones, I guess. I can always break that rock over there if I need more stones, so I'll just do that. Yeah, hunger is in a pretty bad spot, but I do have this meat, and I assume meat's gonna heal the bar quite a bit. So we should be okay. We got plenty of coal, so we should be able to run things pretty easily. All right, let's uh, let's go in here, and we'll make a. Eventually, I'm gonna expand the house, but I don't have time for that right now. So, made a campfire. And I'll just place it in the corner there. Oh, whoops. I uh, I messed up. I didn't place it correctly, so I just. Fortunately, the resources drop if I fuck up, so that's nice. I pressed the wrong button. Place it right there. It does burn. Look at that. Okay, now I would like to make a cooking. Oh, yeah, I need to make a. Smelter, there we go. Copper bar. Five copper ore and one old core. You need to be near a fired up smelter. Oh, okay. Well, I'm near a fired up smelter. It's actually pretty expensive. I think I can only make one of those. So. That's the one I can make. Now let's go back to tools and let's go to, or not tools, uh, house. Piggy pot. New crafting recipes unlocked. Cool. Now... I think it... Yeah, it takes wood to light the campfire, doesn't it? One wood. That's not too bad. Alright, let's cook some meat. Also cook those mushrooms. Three mushrooms and a campfire. Good enough. I have... How many mushrooms? I had four. So there we go. We got some food now. Eat that up. It's pretty good. Oh wow, mushroom soup's even better. All right, cool. And I ate a mushroom and it wasn't poisonous. Thank goodness. So I do need a chest still. Okay, let's let's worry about getting a chest. Uh, all right. So to get a chest. Well, I have to click the right tab for starters, goddammit. 20 wood, 1 copper bar. So I need 5 copper, 20 wood. Because it's 5 copper for a copper bar. So 5 copper and 20 wood. So I need just a lot of stuff, basically. It's snowing. Hmm.
Okay, Selena. Yeah, this game has a has a nice chill atmosphere. I don't know, this really does remind me of some 90s games I played. It's cool, I like it. It gives, it gives me uh, it gives me some good vibes. Oh, what was that? Hi there. I guess I'll kill you. Helconia. An orange flower of go faster motion. I'm assuming these flowers do me special effects. This was in the shape of shield. This one has go faster motion. Light. I bet there's like a potion I can brew with them, and it's like, oh, you're going fast now. You're getting spore vibe. Okay, I can definitely see that. Hmm. Thing is actively running away from me. I'm guessing that means it doesn't want to fight. Oh well, I could, I can't. I'm surprised. That thing didn't seem to be going that fast, but I sure as hell can't catch it. I guess I'll leave it be. Oh, a pig. Oh. Okay, things are getting a little little insane now. Somehow I haven't gotten into a double enemy engagement, but now I am... Prob oh, that's too many enemies, so let's back off. Wait, now this thing's following me. I don't get it. There are too many enemies! So this boingy thing is ru runs away from me, but if I'm not chasing it, what's the follow me? Interesting. Oh, mushroom. I'm trying to see if I can sneak up on it, but I guess I can't. Seems harmless. Things sure take a lot of hits to kill, even with a weapon. All right, hey, come back here. This harmless little animal is probably worth a lot of meat. I'm gonna guess it's a good life. Yep, see, I knew it. I had a feeling it's a livestock animal. Inventory full. Fine, I'll just get rid of these random flowers. I don't care about. So, I need some trees. What? Something just went pop. <laughs> and the, now the Sproggy guy is gone. What happened? Did the, Spr did the Sproggy guy pop? What, why did he pop? <laughs> Oh, what's this? Hello. Oh. I see. I'll leave you be then. <laughs> they make silly noises. <laughs> Some like dark psychic cat thing. Oh, another pig. Hold on. Oh, wrong weapon. Ooh, leather. 
It kind of looks like a biohazard symbol, but it looks like a psychic spell at the same time. Sorry, cute animal. Oh, shit. So healing seems a little tricky, so I need to be careful not to get too hit, hit by enemies very often. Or I could really get in trouble. Yeah, food seems to be... Uh, yeah, again, my hunger... My hunger bar is going to last me a while, so that's not a big, huge deal. But I have to admit, it does take quite a few resources to do things. So I'm just going to... Basically, what I'm doing is I'm just going off on a long exploration trip where I just get a, bu a bunch of wood, basically. For starters. What? Oh, shit. Ow. I was switching weapons, jerk. Gotta be really careful at night because things just pop up. I don't think they, they don't seem to do that during the day, so I guess that's the danger of night. Like, enemies can just pop out. I also got this mysterious goop I can eat in case of an emergency for health. Actually, it's really an emergency case thing, though, because, like, it, uh, it'll lower my, it'll lower my, uh, hunger, but if I need to, I will. I will use that. For fuck's sake. Seems like I can kind of combo them if I am careful. You know, I think the enemies just barrow underground when they go when it's nighttime, and that's maybe the reason they're just popping up like that. Because they, I, just, I find out, I'm finding the spot they burrowed for the night. Where the wild things spring. This is a uh, this is wa wrong world actually, which I think is a literal term because it seems like we crash landed here. So simply put, we're on the wrong world. We didn't mean to be on this world. Whoops. So region, you region help if you're above ninety percent hunger, but the region's pretty slow. I notice. So I better be careful. That being said, it's good to, it's honestly a good thing if I pick fights, because ignoring enemies is a great way to get them to hit you with it, when you're not expecting it. Of course, if I really don't want to engage an enemy, I could always just, I could always just make a jump in the water, too. It's always an option. But yeah, if I want to tank my hunger but heal my health, the goop can do that. I'm sure there's, maybe there's a way I can coop, cook the goop, and then it could uh, replenish health without lowering my hunger, maybe? I haven't checked this. Possible though. This is why I need any of these apples. Being which I don't have room for them, so I'm gonna get rid of the flowers. It's like the least useful thing right now. They are clearly meant to like upgrade me, but it won't really matter if I can't survive long enough to upgrade. So if I were to complain about this game, I would say that it does feel like it takes a little long to gather resources. But, uh... It's not really a huge deal, it just means that, yeah, it's a slower pace. So I'm gonna keep myself alive, I don't think I have to worry about that, as long as I'm careful with my health. Because I don't have very much left, obviously. But, uh, yeah, I just need enough to make... I guess I guess I'll guess i start with a chest. But I need five copper. That's really the main thing I need for... Uh, a mushroom out of a rock? I'll take it. I don't really understand that, but... That happened with a rock enemy, too, actually. So I got enough... I need, I need at least five copper ore to make an ingot. So, I've got to start here, but not... I definitely need a lot more, so I'll just start focusing. I'll just focus on the rocks. Also, water is dangerous if you're in it too long, I guess. Ooh, 
Oh, there's two aliens over there. I'll try to fight them. Could use more meat. So let's see. I mean, that enemy may be a virus. Also, I'm getting iron ore every now and then. It's very rare. I'll try to collect it, though. I'm going to lose track of where home is, but it's kind of over there somewhere. I actually can still see it, barely. Now, the question is, can I aggro one alien without aggroing both aliens? That'd be... That would be ideal. Also, it would be ideal if they stopped changing their position. I also need to kill them because they're next to a bunch of rocks. All right, come over here, you. Let's fight. If they just stand there, that means they're going to leap. Okay. I don't know. Can I get leather from them too? Yes, I can. All right, where's this where's his buddy? Hey, buddy. So apparently they're aliens. I don't know. I don't really get that impression. When I, okay, it does seem like I can actually combo them if I'm smart. What? Acid? Well, it is an alien, I suppose. <laughs> um, you know what? I will grab the acid. Sure. I'm kind of curious what it does. Aliens sound like chickens. So their meat tastes like chicken, probably. I see another flower over there, too. Probably some type of flower I can... Oh, wow, look at all that iron. Hunger's getting a little low again, I realize, but, uh, I should be okay. Oh, shit. Broke already? Basically, I can just keep hitting an enemy as long as I'm close to them. But if they uh, get knocked away, I should back off a bit. Oh, hi. At least for the enemies I fought so far, that seems to work. Acid from him, too? Alright. Oh, wait, what was that? Uranium? I guess you're right about enemies having a. Uh... Actually, wait. Give me that again. I'm gonna drop this sand, I don't really need it. Yeah, that rock... <laughs> that rock's tongue just sticks right out, I don't really get it. Also, did it, it said I, my axe broke or something, but I, I, I have one still. Weird. I am really hungry. Might be time to go back to base. I don't have enough copper, though. God damn it. Alright, I'm just gonna... Oh. Well, at least it healed me. Or at least it healed my hunger. I was gonna... It seems when you eat a mushroom raw, it's Russian roulette. Whether it's gonna kill you or not, basically. Oh, there we go. Two hot copper. That's much better. I need one more. I'm not going back to base until I have five copper. That's That was part of the objective. That didn't actually hurt me that much. That's gold ore. Can't pick that up. I really need to do something about my inventory. That thing. It's a bush, I guess. Well, the bright side is eating that mushroom did give me quite a bit of hunger back, so. Alright. We just kind of stood there looking at each other. Isn't that weird? Huh. Rock monster dropped absolutely no rocks. Okay. Nope, there it is. That's the last copper I need. All right, I go back to that. I go back to base now. I was just holding out for that copper, you know. Okay, I have enough resources. I should be able to build everything I need. We'll start, of course, with uh, 
cook it some food, but, uh... Yeah, so I'll make a chest. I'll find... I'll just cramp it in the building with everything else. And then I'll worry... And then I might actually have enough resources to make a new foundation. So that's gonna be good. Because that means more space. <laughs> I, okay, this is fun. I, I could definitely see myself playing this after the Haller is over. This is uh, enjoyable. I mean, I'm kind of almost dead, but then again, I was learning, so you know. I think I could probably fight better now. Because I kind of... Oh. Oh, I was right! Okay, guys. Rock monsters die faster to pickaxes. I was right. The staff is good against some things, but... Like, probably the aliens and the pigs, but... If you're fighting a rock monster, you use a pickaxe. If you're fighting a wood monster, you use, a, use an axe. Fair enough. I should have. I should. I wasn't sure, but that kind of proves it right there. So I can kill enemies way faster, actually, than I thought. Hi, Pyro. Uh, my PC specs. I don't remember. They're not very great, honestly. But I get by. That's a lot of rocks. I wish I could get this much wood from a tree. Because wood's my current issue right now. I don't have a lot of wood. There's a few places I can go in to get it, though, so that's fine. It's fair I'd break these rocks on the way back. Also, it said my axe broke, but I seem to still have an axe, so I don't know. Kind of weird. Alright, let's go. Let's go establish ourselves with, uh... Wait, I just realized something. Okay, let's start with some food. Cook meat. Frapple, f flapple fizz. Can I make that? No, I don't have enough flapples. App acid and so I can put alien acid in with apples and make something edible. Okay then. It's a very complicated re recipe, actually. And I realize they're just dropping there, it's fine. I'll grab them in a second once I'm out of meat. Excellent. Okay, now, the next thing I need to make. Well, mushroom soup if we have enough time before the fire goes out. Is this gonna still work? Yeah, it did. Cool. Um, alright. Let's see. I'm just gonna bring the mushroom soup along with me, because it's actually a really good healing item. A uh, really good... A uh, really good food item, I mean. But, uh... Oh, I can make stone... I can make stone stuff, too. I should probably do that. It takes quite a bit of wood, but I can do that. Let me make the chest first, though. I'm getting ahead of myself. 20 wood and one copper bar. I have 26 wood, so that's just enough. Um, need to fire up the smelter, though. Make a copper bar. Almost have... I have enough for an iron bar, too. I, may, I guess I may as well make that. Oh, right. I'm out of space. I will drop the... Uranium for a moment. I hope that doesn't, like, kill me with radiation or something. Alright, now I can make... Goodness me. Goodness me, I'm so glad I can make this chest. Somebody is, somebody is trying to kill me. I assume I'm safe in my house. I really hope I am, anyways. Oh, thank goodness. Alright. Oh, I just... Oh, shit. Okay, I got knocked out of my house by accident. Whoops. I'm just going to store some stuff in here. Uh, let's 
store the frapple for... I, I mean, I guess... I don't know, I'll bring it along. Store that, store that, store that. I'll probably get more of those, so... I'm gonna bring that along. Um, alright. I need more wood, I guess. That's the next step. It was a rock. It was rock monster. I know. I know. I. It's so funny. I know that song, Rock Rock Lobster. I got your reference. That's a good. I really like Rock Lobster. It's a good song. It's a weird song. Okay, so I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make some stone tools. I need five wood for each of them. Five stone. I've got plenty of stone. I need more wood. Oh, that's right. I also have just uranium sitting in the floor. I probably should put that away too. And obviously I need more wood for building a foundation, more of a foundation, because I'm kind of cramped up in there. Trying to access my chest is knocking me out of the world, out of the house sometimes. Oh, it's on. It's actually on a Rock Band game? I didn't know that, actually. <laughs> That's cool. Oh yeah, the chorus is bizarre as shit. That's what I love about it. It's just such a trippy song. So, uh, I guess what I'll do is I'm just going to explore around and get more wood. I'm just going to get a ton of wood. What do you guys think of this game? I'm kind of curious. It's on Donkey Konga? That's even weirder. I didn't know that. This is a nice Minecraft clone, I like it. It's got its own things going on too, so... I don't feel it's a clone. I don't think clone's very fair to it, I mean. I guess it, you could still say it is a clone to the craft. It's a crafting game. You know, you can call that a clone if you want, but uh... I can release the hamster, actually. I just need to pick up- I just need to take that uranium I have and I can put it in the machine up there. I can release the hamster. I should probably do that, just to see what it does. Let me go get that. Let me go get that uranium. It's got it's, it's got personality. I really like a game with personality is like kind of a big deal to me. I guess I'm so sick of when I play a, a game, a review key, and it's just some, it's just some cash in, you know, just some like we made it, we did a, something very by the numbers to make some money. It's like okay, I, soul matters more than anything else when it comes to developing a game. I feel. Even if your game isn't perfect, if you, if you, like, tried, I don't know, if you tried to make something with some effort and soul in it to it, then, you know, I'm happy at that point. Alright, so I'm gonna go grab that uranium. Yeah, co <laughs> that's true actually. Minecraft was a clone of uh, Ephidiminer, right? I think that's what it's called. Alright, so I'm gonna grab this uranium. And using the power of uranium, we shall run Leash a Hamster. That, that's really bizarre to say out loud, but it's true. So let's see, where was the hamster? I think it was just to the left. Now there was a there was like a run away from symbol, so I don't know if the hamster is friendly or not. But we shall find. I mean, I'm gonna release it from a cage. It should be thankful. It's a hamster, so I have no idea. In most cases, when a game has a hamster, it's not a it's not hostile. <laughs> but at the same time, I know enough about hamsters to know they're kind of they're kind of screwed up little animals sometimes. <laughs> I have seen them eat their own babies. It's. I've seen enough about hamsters to be wary of them, I suppose. But... Friend? He has a boot. Help hamster. It seems unhappy about its bare feet. Can I fix this? All right, well, uh, I guess I need to get some boots. Wait, 
Well, I'm gonna go get some trees, and then I'll go. I'll try to figure out it's the boot conundrum. <laughs> Again, this game has personality. I gotta get a hamster boots. All right. That's 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 an amusing little quest. I like that. Oh, there's a timer. I wonder when it would hit. I'm having a lot of fun with this. And this is early access, so. Are you not a... Wait, you know what? Is that even a rock monster, or is it like a slime monster? Maybe that's why that isn't working too well. Oh well. Also, I did notice it said my axe broke, but it's not broken. I mean, it's out of my inventory, so theoretically it did break, but I put it on my hotbar and it's still there. Oh, shit. Okay, that, did it actually break this time? Oh, it actually did break this time. All right. Damn it. Jerk. Everything went flying when he when he appeared. That's fine, though, because I... I think I want to say I have enough wood to make the tools I need, so I think I do. Should have enough wood. I think some wood went in the water. Maybe not. I don't know. But yeah, I guess my axe broke, but I should have enough wood to make what I needed. And then I'll probably uh, probably stop. And I, I mean, I'll look at the. I guess I'll look at the crafting guy as I walk back. Can I make? Can I make? Uh... I mean, I need to be near the crafting table probably. But I wonder if I can make a boots. Then I do have leather, so it looks like he needs three boots probably. Yeah, I didn't even investigate the snow land or the other biome too. There's more biomes we can investigate too. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess that if I help the hamster out. The, the end goal of that is probably he's a mount. I'm going to say he's a mount, probably. In other words, I can, fa you know, run around faster. So that would be beneficial. Those rocks? Uh, they're just rocks I can pickaxe, probably. Gemstones? No, they're... Oh, you're looking at the weird ones with the purple on them? That's just, uh... As far as I can tell, it's just, like... Alright, hold on. It's just bushes. They're just bushes. I can't seem to interact with them, so... They're just there to be a bush. Um, alright, so... Tin wood, tin stone, and make another tile. This, this is fine. Oops. Should have done it from outside. My bad. Let me try. It. Let me try it again. Yep, I can just attach it, I guess. So, if I go into construction mode, can I... Yeah? Yep, that looks right. I just realized that I actually didn't build the house correctly. <laughs> That's fine. It shall suffice for the time being. Wow. 
What? Am I being attacked by ducks? What the hell? I have to go outside and see what the hell's going on out there in a minute. <laughs> A little concerned about all that noise. Oh no, it's frogs. I got I got attacked by four frogs. Okay, of different colors. So the blue one has the ability to whatever that is. That was the green one. Attack. The frog gang attacked my house. I guess I'll lead them away. What, what? Can they swim? I assume they can swim because they're frogs. Yep. Ha. Ooh. Okay. Cool. I got. I tricked them, kind of. Wow. They're a very aggressive. I'm trying to spread them out a little bit so I can fight them one on one. All right. There. That's pretty good. You wanna go? He has a spatula. I think he wants me I think he wants to eat me for dinner. We'll see about that. What about you? You maybe you're good for dinner. Oh wow, they're really good at dodging actually. This is not a this is not a simple enemy to fight. Aha! Frog stomp. I got a worm and a coin. That's one of them dead. Why do they sound like ducks? I don't know, because they're a they're a duck frog. They're a... They're a drog or a fuck. <laughs> they're a fuck! That's what they are. <laughs> That's such a silly attack. Hey, a boot! And a blobfish. Okay, they drop boots. This makes them suddenly more important. Let's see what the boot description is. Use it to unbootify. Use it to unbootify and turn to leather. But I don't want to do that because I have a hamster. Come here. Come here. Ah, da, da. Come here. Let's fight. They don't seem to have that many attacks. They mostly want to do the dash thing, which probably hurts. I got very lucky that I interrupted that. I think that's their main gimmick. They fly. But I could stop them from flying by being aggressive. Another boot. Make me inventory full. Shut up. Um, eat that. Though they are different colors and have different faces, they seem to have the same attacks, pretty much. They are hard to hit, though. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my goodness! That's some knockback I triggered on that guy. I gotta go hunt him down. Hold on. We might get a third boot. If we do, then we can go make the hapster happy. All right, there he is. Come here. How the hell did I do that? Seriously, I have no idea how I did that much knockback. Yeah, they're actually not. They're though very aggressive, and they came in a gang. They don't actually see that. They oh look, a third boot. What did I say? I just need to drop something. Um, a coin is the root of all evil. I'm just gonna drop that. All right, let's go make the hamster happy. That will end. We'll end. We'll end this session by making the hamster happy. That was pretty good luck. That's pretty good RNG because the first frog didn't drop a boot. So.
Ta da! Oh, pfft. okay. Mount hap. Oh my goodness. Well, I definitely mounted that hamster, didn't I? Yep. Well, he's a lot faster. That seems like a good stopping point. <laughs> so I got myself a hamster. Pretty good. Pretty good. There's one thing I'm a little confused about with this game, though. Like, I, I don't seem... It doesn't seem possible to build a structure that is completely encapsulated by... a... Oh, wait a minute. I'm an idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. One second. I was like, how do I make a section... How do I make a building with four walls every direction? I just realized I'm an idiot. Make one of these. Rotate. Rotate. Until... Yep, like that. Perfect. And now I can... Because I was noticing the door wasn't properly snapping. I figured out. I figured out what happened. I'm, I'm just. I'm just dumb. There. Now it is actually properly snapped to the house now. No, I should probably build a roof for this. Boop. One last thing I should probably build. If I can afford it. Three wood and one leather. Okay. Also, uh, but when it comes to the blobfish. Can I make food off of the blobfish? I, I heard, I remember it was like two blobfish. I do have enough. Cool. Did I get meat off of those guys, or...? Yeah, I did. So cool. The, the frog gang was the best thing that could have happened to me. I was worried at first. But it worked out. I also have enough mushrooms for soup. How nice. So I'm pretty well stocked now. And all I need to do uh, is just fill the flag and I'll be good. So I just need some leather for that. Grab my stack, stack of leather here. Start dumping a few. I got some worms. I could definitely do fishing as well. Not currently interested in doing that, but I could do it later. I got fish sticks, 40 hunger. Meat, 25. I'm just gonna eat that. Well, one of them anyways. Actually, no, I'll just save, I'll just save that. So I got some, so I got some food for later. Uh, I do need to get some, uh, actually, let's make my, let's make my new tools as well. That seems like a good idea. Oh, I also have enough ore to make another. Okay, cool. Hold on a second. Yeah, I, I am enjoying this game. I want to play this more. <laughs> I'm having a good time. I approve. Yeah, I do need health. This is true. I'm kind of lacking in that ridge apartment. But there we go. We can make a. We can make an iron ore now. And. Uh, Dismantle Copperfish. There's apparently fish that I can dismantle. Interesting. I can get myself some armor with uh, 10 wood and 2 leather. How much leather do I have? It's that much? And that much wood? But I have just enough wood to... I just have enough wood. I have just enough wood to make the stone tools, though. So I'm just gonna... I'll make the mask later. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna make a stone axe. Stone pickaxe. And I don't really need a stone shovel thinking about it. So I guess I will make that. Uh, I don't have enough wood though. So, okay. And I was going to make a flag. That's the other thing. So I just need to hold on to two leather to make a mask. Because mask is apparently protection for the looks of it. So, makes you look a little bit like an acorn beast. Alright. Oh, uh, right, I'm holding it. I'm actually holding a flag. One moment. Oops. I should have probably built the flag out while I was staying outside. My bad. That was my fault. But the reason I'm building a flagpole is because I do realize that it actually makes it easier to find your house, so. 
Oh yeah, that would make it a lot easier to find the house. It's very tall. So, cool. Oops, I did not mean to turn on the campfire. Oh well, I wasted a wood. Big deal. Um, so I'm going to hold on to the leather for now. I'm going to hold on to that. I'm going to store the pick. I'm going to store... I'm going to hold on to everything else. I'm going to eat the mushroom soup in a second. The iron bar, I don't really know what I made it for yet. Same with the copper bar, but I assume they're going to have a use. Um... Actually, I think about it. Can I not build like a build an anvil to unlock more gear? Oh, okay. What's that take? Two iron bars. I have one of them, so to start. So I guess the next objective is to be get another iron bar, and then probably I can craft some better weaponry and stuff, iron equipment, you know, that like that and the like. But yeah, this is a lot of fun. I definitely approve of this game. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna save and quit here. But yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this. This is really enjoyable. Um, save and quit. I have one iron ore. I have one iron ingot. And I have one. It takes five iron ore to make an iron ingot. So. So uh, let's let's do it before I completely quit out here. Let me let me go over to the Steam page of this because I want to know a little bit more about this. Uh, so this game is this is a fifteen dollar game. That seems perfectly fair. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It's really really cute and really really charming. And I want to see where this goes. I want to I want to I want to build more stuff. I want to see where it goes. I want to see what else there is to it. So. Uh, it's made by one person, too, which, again, one-person project, really cute, really nice. I like it. Um, let's see. The price won't change when Wrong World leaves early access, so $15 is its full price as well. So you could definitely just wait and see where it goes if you're not interested, but you, like, might be interested. You can just wait. It won't uh, cost any more later, so that's cool. $15 is a perfectly fair price for this, I feel. Honestly, looking at it on a visual sense, like just looking at screenshots, it's really hard to tell if the game would be any good. I'm glad I gave it a chance, because I was almost like, this seems this seems too low budgety and probably isn't very good. But no, it's actually quite good. I have to I have to say I really like it. It's one of those cases where you can't just judge it by the visuals alone. You gotta actually see how it is in play. To actually get an idea of what it is going for. Kinda looks like a lost teddy it, it kinda is a lost teddy bear, because it landed on it's a teddy bear thing that ended up on a planet that it wasn't supposed to end up on, so it's like a lost teddy bear. <laughs> but yeah, that was Wrong World. That was definitely a good game. I really enjoyed myself with that. Uh, definitely give the the developer seems like a genuinely, you know, passionate person here. This little description right here kind of gives me that indication. Very nice, very nice game. I definitely hope to see this progress and get more attention. Hopefully, because. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely liking this. I'm 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 technically really kind of exhausted by all the crafting games out there. Like it's easy to have a burnout with them, you know. But this one definitely brings its own little charm to the table. So it's definitely uh, it's definitely enjoyable. It has its own little charm, has its own little qualities that refresh freshen the genre back up again, which is nice. <laughs>